This time we're talking about one of the core concepts in Chapter 3, and that's the laws of demand and supply. The law of demand says, as the price of a good or service goes up, the amount that buyers are willing and able to purchase falls. And here's a Latin phrase for you that we'll talk about in just a moment, ceteris paribus. First thing to note are the words that I've got underlined here, willing and able. To be considered part of the demand for anything, you have to be both willing and able to purchase that good. Just as an example, I am willing to purchase a Lamborghini, but I'm not able. I am able to purchase tofu, but I'm not willing. To be in the demand for any good or service, you have to be both willing and able. These arrows go in the opposite direction. And that means that the relationship between price and the amount somebody wants to buy is inverse. As the price goes up, the amount that someone wants to buy falls, and vice versa. As the price falls, the amount that someone is likely to be willing and able to purchase will go up. Okay? Ceteris paribus is a Latin phrase that means all other things equal, or ignoring everything else that might affect the amount that someone is willing to buy. The law of demand talks only about the relationship between the price of a product, a good or a service, and the amount that someone wants to buy. And this picture down here, with price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis, illustrates this inverse relationship between quantity and price. As the price of the good changes, as the price goes up from price one to price two, the quantity that someone wants to buy falls. As the price goes up from price one to price two, the quantity falls from Q1 to Q2. That's what the law of demand says. It ignores everything else except that very specific relationship between price and the amount that someone wants to buy. Now let's move over here and look at the law of supply. It's going to sound kind of familiar. The law of supply says, as the price of a product, a, a good or service, increases, the amount that sellers are willing, there's that word again, and able to sell goes up. This time the arrows don't go in the same direction, they don't go in the opposite direction, they go in the same. This is a direct relationship between price and the amount that someone wants to sell. Ceteris paribus is in there again too, I've written it twice up here for you to look at. That again means all other things equal or ignoring everything else that might affect the amount that somebody wants to sell. The supply curve down here that I've drawn for you slopes upward. This also shows you that direct relationship between price and quantity. Here, as the price of a good goes up from price one to price two, the amount that the business, the supplier, is willing to sell now goes up. As the price rises, the quantity that the producer is willing and able to sell goes up as well. That's what the law of, of supply says. So we have the law of supply, a relationship between price and quantity from the seller's point of view, and the law of demand, the relationship between price and quantity from the buyer's point of view.